The next generation launch of excavators started in 2017, and we, we jumped in head first with technology, and we didn't pass it up on the 395 either. So this 395 is littered with standard technology, very similar to a 336, to a 320, to our smaller machines. And what that means is we have standard 2D grade, we have standard e-fence, meaning we have safety features. And I'm gonna do a live demo in a bit and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about with these features because for some of you customers that are used to this size machine class aren't used to that kind of technology. But I think it's very beneficial for most of applications that you all will be doing. So grade, and what I mean by that is these bucket teeth right here, we know exactly where this bucket is at all times. We know where, these, where that tip is and the center tips and the outside tip because we have done a true measurement of this machine. We know every dimension of this uh, bucket. We know the dimensions of the stick. And if I can point out to right above the hydraulic lines up there, there's this little box up there and that's called an IMU. That is a sensor to let us know the angle of the stick, how far it goes out, how far it comes in. We also have one on the boom and it's right up by the headlight up there, right above the, where the boom cylinder mounts to the boom. And that is another IMU. We have one right here. This is a non-contact magnetic sensor sitting behind that tells us the bucket angle. So we know what angle the bucket's doing. There's also a sensor on the car body to let the machine know how it's sitting fore and aft. No, because we know all of that and we've done all these measurements allows us to do all this standard technology. And like I said, 2D grade. What I mean by that is if you're digging um, 15 foot deep, 20 feet deep, 30 feet deep, or you're working a 10 foot bench and you want to maintain that, I can tell within the display that I want to do 10 foot deep from right at this bucket tip and I tell the monitor and it's going to guide me and tell me how deep I am from that point. It's, it's constant um, feedback to the operator as the depth that they are. We have the safety features. You can see that we're in a building here today. It's not terribly uncommon that a machine of this size will be working under power lines if it's in a sewer water application. It could be digging a large foundation inside of a building, you name it. Sometimes there's overhead obstructions. There's obstructions to the side, left, right, to the front. We're able to stop this machine left and right, up and down. We can give it parameters to work in, which will physically stop the front linkage from going to any one of those parameters that we set because it is electric over hydraulic and we know where all this linkage is. One of the other fantastic features we have on this is, is our payload system. This one to me for this size machine is, uh, is a game changer. This is great to know how many trucks did I load today? Uh, how much total tons did I load today? What was my efficiency in tons per hour, tons per gallon or liter wherever you're at? Um, total amount of trucks for the day, total buckets for the day. There is a lot of information that I'm gonna show you in our live demo as to how that can benefit you on a daily basis. The operators, if you're loading 300 and 400 trucks a day and they're using a load counter, that gets old. They might skip, they might miss. This is all digitized. The operator physically loads a truck as they normally do, but the system is, has a scale, very similar to a wheel loader. We know how much material we'll put in every single bucket and we know how much material we're gonna put in the truck because when the truck is full, we can store the machine or store the truck and you just keep doing that all day long. It's very, it's a, it's a nice, safe, productive way to keep track of what's going on for the day. Say you're loading on highway trucks for the smaller machines. You want to prevent um, overloading or underloading of the trucks. It's going to allow you to do that. When everything is done properly and the uh, measurements have been done and the calibrations have been done where, where your dealer has done that for you, we're saying plus or minus 3% accuracy. And then to be able to keep track of how many trucks that day, how many total buckets to total gallons per hour. I mean, it, it is, there's so much information that we can pull from that in several different ways. And again, we'll show you in the demo, but I can look at it on the monitor that the operator can see. I can put a USB into the side of the monitor and pull that information off onto an Excel spreadsheet. It's also using our product link antennas and pushing it out to the Vision Link office center where you can extract that information on a daily basis to see what this machine did uh, specifically. So we're gonna show you some of that live demo, but that, that, what I just talked about is all standard on every 395 that we're gonna sell within North America. So something to look forward to. I, I think there's a benefit in almost every customer being able to use one of these standard technologies that we have on there, which, which sets us uh, far above the rest of uh, the world that we're working with today.